everyone and welcome to yet another video on my youtube channel mr b does electronics so today's video will be the unboxing and a quick overview or a first look of the new boat smart ring gen 1 that i have been wearing for the past two days so let's dive right in so before unboxing this bad boy let me give you an overview around the box so over here the specs are written the boat branding is over here nothing and the boat branding is over here the sticker is speaking out and on the back there are various details so as you can see various details are given over here on the back like the brand commodity the product name dimensions and various other details the charging will be via 5 volt 2 amp power supply which is not included in the box so as you can see the ring size is mentioned over here I bought the size 9 this was the smallest that was available at the time and uh, I tested it out for two days and it's okay uh, size smaller would have been better but I needed it at the first launch day so without wasting any more time let's unbox this sticker fell out so first of all they give you the sticker where you can stick it on and show that you are a boat head I'll keep it to the side then comes this smart ring pamphlet style instruction manual where you get the package contents how to charge the charging time and a QR code to download the app over here and how to connect to the app and how to actually wear the smart ring which is very essential and on the back you can pause this if you want to read it how to go through the various functions of the ring the wellness feature the short video there is also a small touch panel which you can use to skip short videos music uh, PDF reading that is switch pages take photo and video it works quite well but you have to wear it in the fashion that is mentioned over here in this user manual and uh, these are the product parameters that is what is the weight where is the bluetooth version charging time etc you can pause here are some faqs you can pause and read it if you want but as we already know we don't follow by the instruction we just keep it to the side for now and then comes this QR code that is you scan it to claim your one year manufacturer warranty so this is the ring which I will keep to the side for now this is the ring it's quite beautiful in its appearance Nonetheless, uh, I will just keep it to the side over here and show you the charging dock or cradle, whatever you want to call it. So this is the charging dock or the cradle, as you can see. And last but not the least, the piece, the resistance, the smart ring itself. Wow, just look at that shine. It's made of titanium and ceramic, as far as I can tell, or as far as I know from the various details given. So let's focus on the ring. So with the unboxing done, let's focus on the ring. Before that, let's clear out all this clutter. So this is the Boat Smart Ring Gen 1. It's quite a gorgeous little piece of device. Very shiny, stainless steel or titanium, I don't know, and the outside maybe ceramic or something like that because it cannot be metal because if this is metal the bluetooth signal has to pass through so this has to be ceramic or some other non-conductive material like that and this is the charging cradle with a USB A on the end this has got the pogo pins over here you have to align this little pin over here and it will just magnetically snap just like that so to pair this up, you have to first 
install the boat ring app which I will do in my other phone because this is already set up after showing you the installation procedure I will just go back so you go over to Play Store or App Store in case of iOS and hit install and in the meanwhile I will be needing something to power the charging cradle with something so I'll be using the power bank over here and as soon as you plug in the power source you can see a little red LED over blinking over here which means it is charging and this is the heartbeat sensor LED and there is also a green sensor inside here for the SPO2 sensor which acts as the charging complete so the app has finished installing and let's open it now so this is the procedure that you have to go through let me go to the wide view now you have to hit agree and here you can do sign in register which I have already done over here on this app you register and after registering you give your email and everything an account will be created and then you will be uh, sent automatically to the Bluetooth setting where it will discover the ring and as soon as it is it on the cradle over here in the charging with the power and everything it goes into the discoverable mode that is you can find it through this app now I will switch over to the phone that I'm currently using the app on so I will show you the pairing I have unpaired already over here I have already created my account and everything due to which you will be getting all the metrics and it will all be saved into the server so what you have to do is over can go to go to control over here and hit plus it's just like any other smart watch and then you have to add the device like this and it is already searching and see it is connecting it has connected it has bound pair and it, it is done voila just like that so there is no problem with the Bluetooth connection the binding procedure or any other such connection uh, there is no such issues like that with this I have been using it for 48 hours and then some and I it has never disconnected so get started and see as you can see you can see the battery it is charging everything is shown over here this is the smart touch control that I was telling you that there is a uh, touch pad over here which you can use for the various functions you have to turn it on over here and after every 10 minutes of not using that uh, touch panel it turns off you have to come over here on the app and turn it on again to use any of the selected function so that is done it's my guess to mainly save on the battery because it's a very small little device and the company is promising seven days of battery life so if you can see it is at 66 percent after 48 hours of usage so it may be close to that like six days seven days maybe but I have to do some more testing on that this is the daily activities of the fitness screen over here you can see the steps the distance the calories you can start any exercise the sleep function it has tracked my sleep these I will be talking about in details and comparing the parameter tracking with this with my other two smartwatches that is MS Fit GTR 2e and the Galaxy Watch 4 these two are quite accurate so this is this gives you an overview that is what is a recovery status how much did you sleep how much calorie did you lose an overview of your whole day you have to take note that this little red ring has to be on the outer axis of your finger it is recommended in the app also in the user guide that you have to use the index finger the best way because this area is the touchpad you can wear it like this on your index finger and swipe up and down with the help like this so in the iOS what I have found is that the play pause function of the music works the taking the picture the photo thing works but swiping up and down to change the video that doesn't work I have not yet used the slide function or the reading function but the short video skipping doesn't work in iOS as far as I have tested more testing is required so what I will show you now is how you can 
how it looks when you measure the heart rate and the SpO2 temperature manually. So as soon as you click measure in heart rate and click on start measure and LED yeah as you can see the heart rate LED was working but as soon as I took it off it is not measuring anymore so this is not fake this won't measure unless and until you wear it see it has measurement has failed it is showing so let's trigger it once again let's wear it and measure it it looks quite classy as you can see it's a bit big but there's a lot of tick hidden inside over here it's not any ordinary ring like this so so let's let it measure and as you can see as I am currently doing a video my heart rate is a bit high and it's very hot where I live so I can confirm and I can save it the SPO2 feature works the same let's measure the temperature there's also a body temperature sensor over here it's very sophisticated and boat is the first company to bring a smart ring in the Indian market as far as I know on a budget segment so as you can see it has measured my body temperature based on the skin temperature in my index finger so I hope all of you really enjoyed this quick unboxing and overview of the new boat smart ring generation 1 and if you like unboxing videos or uh, this video similar to this consider subscribing like share and comment urge all of your friends and families to do the same also the goal of this channel was DIY it will always be the goal but I have been shifting gear from my past video to repairs and other unboxing videos or various electronic devices that I buy with my own money for my own purpose or for my own enjoyment and I would like to showcase all of those pros and cons and my experiences to you through this channel also with other than DIY videos so I will catch you on the next video peace